Welcome to another tutorial of the WinCC Tier Portal. In today's tutorial we will learn how to do user administration in the Tier Portal. In simple words how we can password protect our HMI parameters so that only authorized person with login username and password can change the parameters after logging on to the Cymatic panel. Let's start today tutorial. Here you can see that we can enter the data by just clicking on the input field and this data is directly going to the memory word 1 in the PLC. Now we can put an authorization or login protection for this data input field. To do this we will go to the HMI programming and select this input field and open its properties. Now from the security authorization menu we can select the authorization which will be required to access this input field. You can see here we have different authorization. We can select any authorization. We will select operator authorization. Any user who is logged in must have operator authorization to access this input field. Now we will go to the user administration menu. Here in the user menu we can create users like admin, operator, supervisor and assign them individual passwords for login. We will create two users, admin and operator. Now from the group menu we can assign users a group. As you can see that we have assigned admin user to administration group and operator to users group. We can change the name of the group and also create new groups. Now from the user groups menu we can assign authorization to the groups. For example in our case administrator has admin monitoring. Operate authorization and users group we will only assign operate authorization. Now let's run the simulator and test the login authorization. If now I click the input field login menu pops up. We are required to log in. Let's log in as operator using username operator and password. Now if I click user field we are allowed to put data. Let's go to another step ahead and see how we can see who is log into HMI and how we can log in and log out using push buttons. We can drag and drop two buttons on the HMI screen and rename them as log in and log out buttons.
first we will go to the login button and set click event for this button. For the user administration menu we will select show logon dialog. Now whenever we click login button login dialog will opens up. Now set click event for logout button. We can select logout option for this button. If somebody click this body it will log out the current login user. We can drag and drop the user view menu and resize it on the HMI screen. This view is used to show which user has login and which authorization is assigned to it. Let's run the HMI simulation. Now if I click the login button, login dialog appears. We can log in as admin. User view is showing that admin is login and its group is administrator. Now we log out by clicking log out button. User view becomes blank because admin is logged out and if we click the input data field it is again asking to log in. Now we have to log in again in order to access the data input field. That's end of the today's tutorial I hope you like it please subscribe my channel to stay connected with this channel. Till next tutorial take care and goodbye.